This early review was made possible thanks to a code provided for free by EA. Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, back with another Create a Sim video for The Sims 4. And this one is themed around Laundry Day stuff. So, it's a luscious lemon inspired Create a Sim. Wait, yeah, you're probably wondering. <laughs> yeah, that's a very strange and random sounding idea. Where did you get that from? So, yeah, I should <laughs> explain that first. Alright, so it all started with this tweet from SimGuru Graham while Laundry Day stuff was still in development and they added some more colors for the washer and dryer on top of what they were already going to include and he named these four new swatches Pastel Pink, Luscious Lemon, Orange Appeal, and Baby Blue. And that made me think, well, I really don't have enough of my Sims wearing yellow clothing and then suddenly, boom, <laughs> Luscious Lemon was created as an idea for a creative sim. Inspiration can come from the most random places, and in this case, it's a washing machine color inspired sim. Yeah, I was going to do this a lot earlier, I was going to try and act on it right away, but then I thought, Wait, I think this would actually make more sense to try and incorporate it with the actual So I've been Day waiting quite pack. a while to do this create a sim and well, it ended up being a lot more challenging than I expected. The one thing that really saved my bacon was something that I forgot existed in the game because I never use it and it's that you can filter things by colors. So there is a yellow one, so that was really, really helpful. <laughs> but with Laundry Day stuff, turns out even though there are plenty of yellow swatches for the objects, turns out that wasn't really the case for clothes. So I ended up being extremely limited in choice when it came to vibrant yellow clothing that I wanted <laughs> from Laundry Day. I end up making a second outfit towards the end where I have a lot more freedom and is more like what I was hoping to achieve in the first place. Though I think the first outfit ended up okay as well. It's just not exactly what I envisioned going into it. But I am glad that I did get to use a decent amount of things from Laundry Day stuff for her first everyday outfit because the hairstyle is one of the new ones with this pack and the shoes that I end up choosing in the end are one of the new pairs of shoes that came with Laundry Day as well. And in terms of her general character design, this is probably one of the most specific Kratos Sims I've done because, well, since it was very focused on the color, I also wanted to make a sim that really matched up with that. And in my opinion, people with darker skin pull off yellow really well. That's not to say that people with lighter skin can't pull off yellow clothing, but I just think it does work better on darker skin. And when I think of the word luscious, I do think of the word curvy as well. So that's why I made my sim have a curvier body type as well. At this point in the video, she's not that curvy yet. I do make her curvier towards the end of the video, and I think she did turn out pretty well. So while the wardrobe wasn't quite what I was expecting, I think the rest of the sim turned out fairly well. And that I think expands to her personality as well. I made her good, dance machine, and cheerful because it wouldn't have made sense to me to make a luscious lemon inspired sim and then have the sim be like really dark and brooding <laughs> like Batman and all that stuff. Because lemons are a bright color and bright colors represent happiness. So yeah, <laughs> that's just what made sense to me. It's actually kind of funny how as I say that <laughs> she's wearing a really dark kind of outfit from vampires, but that's just the game throwing that kind of stuff at me. I do change the formal outfit quite a bit, and I was surprised that I was so satisfied using a base game dress because, I mean, I think with The Sims 2 and The Sims 3 it was a worst case where 
the base game clothing I feel didn't stack up to the clothing of later packs at all. But with The Sims 4, yeah, that still exists a little bit. But in some cases, I still like some base game clothing, and I was <laughs> really surprised to see how the dress sparkles as you rotate it. Because I know I've seen that on some other clothing, especially with the uh, luxury party stuff. But I was like, whoa, okay. She actually looks really good in that dress, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use it, regardless of it being base game. Funny story, actually, with The Sims 3 in particular, towards the end of its life cycle, <laughs> whenever I see base game clothing and objects being used to in worlds, I would think to myself, just, oh wow, that's so base game. <laughs> because I actually did feel at the time that there was that much of a difference between the base game stuff and what we got with later packs. Hopefully that won't happen with The Sims 4 towards the end of its life cycle, but I don't think it'll be as bad as it was with The Sims 3 either way, because I do like the art style of The Sims 4 more than The Sims 3's. And since we're on her athletic wear right now, I might as well talk about that. And it's a prime example how sometimes the best thing is what I choose first instead of what I choose second or third. <laughs> because you may have seen me just like hit the undo button several times towards the end because it's like, oh, actually, you know what? What I chose initially was better. <laughs> Because I was thinking of using that skirt and the leggings, both from fitness stuff, because I feel like I don't use skirts enough. But then I was like, you know what? This doesn't really feel right for her. So <laughs> then I just went back to what I had before. And it was kind of funny how with the sleepwear that the game gave me, I pretty much liked it, <laughs> except for the color of the short. So I decided to keep that, but as the second outfit, because I did want to give her some sleepwear that used more content from the game rather than relying on custom content. And I did end up using one of the new tops from Laundry Day stuff for her first sleepwear, so that turned out pretty well even though I had to get rid of the sleep filter <laughs> to have that come up. And with her party wear, I was really surprised how well this turned out. <laughs> I think I actually, to be honest, like it more than the everyday outfits that I chose for her. So maybe later on I'll just off camera make that one of her everyday outfits and then <laughs> choose another thing for her party wear. I just think this outfit really pops in the way that a luscious lemon color scheme is supposed to. And it may seem kind of odd that she's wearing glasses just for this outfit. But, I don't know, I just felt like they really worked and just really made sense. Like, it's kind of a fashion statement, I guess. The swimwear I don't think was too difficult. I picked up pretty quickly that this top had to be like the one because definitely vibrant lemon yellow vibes going on. It was just the bottoms, I wasn't too sure. I was like flip-flopping between two of them. But I knew I had to choose something green, and I do think green leaves do go with lemon since they're like fruit and all, so I was like, okay. Yeah, I can have green as a supporting color for some of the outfits. And now I'm about to choose her aspiration and personality traits. I already talked about the traits, so with the aspiration, I chose the freelance botanist, and I figured that would make sense because, okay, she's representing a fruit. Why not have a more nature-oriented aspiration. And I didn't get around to talking about her name yet, so yeah, last name's pretty obvious, Lemon. <laughs> but I chose her first name to be Zamora, because in African it means one who knows the way. And I know some of you are probably thinking about the Ugandan Knuckles meme already, but as much as I love seeing my favorite Sonic characters <laughs> being represented through memes, that's not why I chose it. It's more to do with the fact that she is supposed to be a bright and happy sim, so with her knowing the way, that's like a more positive thing. So that's why I ended up going with that. And I don't know, I also felt like for some reason I was compelled to name a sim with the first name starting with the letter Z. Maybe it's just because that's like another thing that I don't do enough. And now we're just going through the turnarounds of all the outfits and yay, I'm so happy with how the second outfit turned out. 
because, well, backyard stuff is definitely a good go-to in terms of colorful clothing. And yes, just look at that dress sparkle as it rotates around, I love it. And that's pretty much all I have to say about this sim. I might do sims inspired off of some of the other colors from that tweet, like the orange accent. Pastel pink, I guess, doesn't necessarily need to be linked to the washing machine, but... Yeah, definitely some other ideas for sure. And I hope that you'll enjoy the Laundry Day stuff pack if you decide to get it. I was really surprised by how well done it is. I wasn't expecting it to be so good, but yeah, it's my second favorite stuff pack. Kids Dream stuff still reigning as the first. That stuff pack has been really hard for them to top in my opinion, but... Anyways, I will wrap this up here, so be sure to leave a like or a comment or even subscribe because it lets me know that you like my channel, my videos, and it helps you keep up to date more easily with the latest content for me. I do videos on The Sims, Sonic the Hedgehog, and more, so I will talk to you all later, and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Jim or do ba do up Power va va Spoon do 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 ba do foo Foo ba do wa dee Zee dee zow